What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf, also known as the Man in Black. So this particular video is going to be titled, How Do I Get Started as a State Citizen or a National of the United States of America? All right. So before we get started, first of all, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video and a just a general uh mentioning of appreciation um there's lots of videos out there but you guys chose mine so that's awesome uh knowing most of you you've probably come across others so it's not probably just my video but now that i have your attention make sure you hit that bell like and subscribe um and if you want to get notified you know obviously do that if not then that's fine as well otherwise i could use your support we are almost at the 45 to 50 thousand mark and that is our goal so after that, who knows? But I digress. Let's get back to it. So I get a lot of emails, um, not as many as when I first started, which means you guys have heeded my advice and you guys are now watching the videos by going to youtube.com forward slash either James C. Lovett, all together, one word, or forward slash uh, or youtube.com forward slash at symbol the bad wolf. Once again, all together, one word. So thank you for that, because though I do answer sometimes a question, maybe two, um, I do not step you guys through court cases. I do not do the bonds. I do not do 1099s. Um, I don't step you through those things. These are educational, informational videos for you to do your own research. I give you guys a good start and a shell, and yet you have to be able to justify your own actions be non-belligerent, non-combatants, just like me, treated with the United States, and operate in commerce. Now, with that being said, how does one become a national? How does one get started? Well, I'm glad you asked. You already are started. You were born with it, okay? You have to first understand that you were born in the Republic, which means the private side. All right. Now, this might be a refresher for some of you guys. It might be one or two new tidbits for some of you more experienced people in the um, in the classroom. But it's for those people who message me every day and I just don't have time to answer the same questions. I put a little information in my email reply so now i'm gonna make the video which pretty sure we already have a early version of this but uh let's go into it in full detail so you were born in the republic of the state in which you were originally born okay let's take um minnesota okay or uh let's do florida all right so if you were born in florida and you weren't specifically born in a federal building or the state capital or something 100% state owned, operated, controlled, subsidized property. You were born in the private. If you were born at home or in a church or wherever else, also born in the private. Now, a lot of the hospitals have gone into being corporate entities, but still yet you were born privately. So if you are about to have a child or you just had one within a number of years, you can still get the record of live birth, the master record of live birth, which is the one with the baby feet print on there. That means you 100% were born privately. They will usually charge you about $100 or $200. It is worth it. Get it, keep it, and protect it at all costs. This shows that you were born in the private, in the republic of the state the land area, which in Florida would be known as Florida Republic or the Republic of Florida, even Florida State, just like in Texas, Texas State, Republic of Texas, is different than the state of Texas, different than the state of Florida, different than the state of Wisconsin. Okay? So that's where you were born now if you don't take that master copy then you're going to end up having the certificate of live birth which is the free version it'll get you it'll get you through most things 
Most of the time, the state, though, will either ask you for to register your child or some lady will slither into your mother's maternity room and say, um, oh, you need to get a birth certificate, too. Well, why? Oh, you have to register your child if you want some discounts and this and that. Get a bank account and blah, blah, blah. Right. So we do. Now, the moment that that happens and you get that birth certificate which is different than a certificate of live birth. They switch the wordings around and move, remove the word live because they're not dealing in live beings. They can't. Live beings were born in a private. Now, maybe if you're a cloned military uh, entity or a uh, soldier or clone or something, then yeah, you're owned by them. Okay, but us natural borns are free and in the private. And we stand over the system. That doesn't mean we're above the law, but we are endowed with inalienable rights from our creator. So you already are a state citizen. In um, Wisconsin, you'd be known as a Wisconsinite. Florida would be a Floridian. Texas would be a Texan. That represents your private side. And because each state, each private side of the state, is under the union and working together, that makes you a national. So those terms are interchangeable. The state citizen can be called a national, national can be called a state citizen. Now, we're not gonna say that they try to hide it, but they operate from a juridical person, which means a non-living entity jurisdiction, known as your straw man, which is the name in all caps, that capitalization, <clears throat> is referred to in this book, which is they use for law, as the uh, capitus diminutio maxima, which means all uppercase lettering is a full loss or major loss of your private side, your rights under the Constitution for the United States of America. So when you accept that, you're moving from the Constitution of the United States of America to the state's jurisdiction or the federal jurisdiction because they have federal employees and they've got state employees. So usually what they do is they mix you and you become a federalized state employee. So how does one get started? One must know this information that your name in all lowercase lettering represents your free side, your private side. However, most of the low-level functionaries who are not privy to this information don't understand this. So, you will have most of them not understanding, and even if you write your name in lowercase lettering, they're still going to call you the same thing because to them, they have a record of that name. They're not familiar with the differencing in the formatting and the capitalizations. To them, that sounds like semantics. So, we must do then what's known as separating the straw man. We must step it up. Okay. So now that you know how to get started, which is first is understanding who and what you are, you have to understand that there's two primary hemispheres in this sphere. And one is the public side and one is the private side. Your public side is your name in all uppercase lettering. Your private side is your name, your given name. Wait a minute, Wolf. You just said that my name in lowercase lettering. Yes, but because they do not understand that and because our parents legally gave them that lowercase name, which now becomes their property, but co-owned by us, it is tainted. It has become upper and lowercase lettering, which is capitus medius demutia. Okay, so that first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name and your middle initial capitalized tainted you. Now, this is what I like to call my poop cake theory. If you make a cake and in its simplest, pure, beautiful form, it's good to eat. You take a little dog poo and put it in there. Now it's all tainted, even if it's a small piece, right? Well, that's what they do with your name. And you're out here signing, signing which a sign is for a corporation, which is the straw man. You're signing your name on everything, just like that, showing them that you've got a big private side, but you're still just playing tip. I'm going to try not to giggle at this point. 
So it's tainted. You must create or embrace your truly private side. Now you can operate both of these, but you do not operate them at the same time. There is no being in one and the other at the same time. No one slave can serve two masters. Okay. So what this means is, is that you must use and understand that there's a difference between your public side, which has your legal name for doing legal things, your juridical person, okay, your positive law. And over here, the moral, human, God-given, inalienable, private side, and given name. Now, when you were born, your parents mistakenly already gave you a name in what resembles a legal name or legal format, your three-part name. Your given name, well, let's take mine, for instance, James C. Lovett, okay? That is a legal name. And even though I can put it in all lowercase lettering because it still resembles something in their system, they have legal access to it. So the name that my parents, my mother especially, God rest her soul, Ella Marie Lovett, love you, um, should have always been James, we'll just say Cash, that's it. Your What they call the first mill name is your compound first name. That's it. Or just your compound name. Now, what they call the last name in this particular case, love it, is my house. It's my crest. It's my castle. It's my lineage. It's my tribe. It's my clan. It's my nation. What are you going to call it? So the way I autograph my name, because real living people autograph things in the private, you know, not my stage name or my legal name, also known as a nom de gore, which means war name in Latin, or even a public transmitting utility is what it's also referred to. My full autograph name should have been James Cash of the Lovett Nation or the Nation of Lovitts. And then I also autograph mine with then comma beneficiary to show that I'm alive and that I know that we're existing in a trust and that in that trust, I'm the beneficiary. We're also the creators or grantors or executors of it, but public people out there, your postal workers, your police officers, your um, wh whatever else that serve the public that are government paid, operated, and controlled are trustees. So they look at you when you use your name in all capitalized letters or even the upper and lowercase format as a trustee. Okay. And you are. So trying to, use your affidavits out here still using your uh government issued authorized owned controlled navigable all caps or partially caps name that's why you're having problems they're looking at you as going you are the brightest all smartest slave on our plantation now get back in line so to answer your question what about quantum syntax grammar stiff this morning um yes that is a real thing okay not all of them on the lower levels are going to know it understand it nor respect it but the higher chain of commands they do know that quantum syntax grammar so is that better than using james cash of the love it nation no it's not better it's not worse it's just another way to express that you are the living being and if you wanted to combine the two colon James uh colon cash or James colon James dash uh cash dash of the or James colon uh altogether James cash or James colon cash dash of the love it nation you know um dash or comma beneficiary. Yeah, you can use any of those combinations that you want. And it means that you are in the private. You, the living person, are taking charge. Otherwise, you are just a signator, signator, signature of the corporation, which is alter ego. You've said and you now believe that you are so much that non-living vessel, that non-living entity that they created, they manifested, that you can sign on his behalf as a drone. 
Okay. A lot of people will also use their thumbprint and they will autograph things that are their files, especially in red. If it's one of their documents, you'll notice that they always want you to sign it in black because that represents the blood of the dead man, the vessel, being, being devoid of red blood in life. So if you can't use red, typically then you can use blue. Blue will represent the fact that you are in the maritime waters, here to do commerce, but you are not underneath their control. Red represents the blood of the living man on the land, the red rooty soil and the red blood of the living person the natural private person. So in that, you can slowly start to do a common law name change where you just start changing over your bills to that name. You can change over or add yourself as an authorized user underneath that name to your credit cards and start using that. You can get your passport done with that name. You can go to the courts and get that name changed over. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is that if you're trying to discharge things, okay, and I made a video on discharge, so don't email me on that. I shared um, all the educational information um, in that video, so look that up, James C. Lovett Discharge. Remember, if you're using a private name, you're supposed to be then a king or queen of your own nation, living independent, freeborn. They're not going to have a record of that, so if you're trying to discharge using your private name, you're not doing it right. There's supposed to be a way for us to do that directly, but unfortunately, they don't give us any information on how to operate that side of us in the private properly. So we don't know that as of yet. Many people are trying things. We'll see how that goes. And always vet your information. Don't just accept somebody on the video because they're telling you, oh, hey, use a this and this form. Use a this and that and do this, and they'll give you all this money, okay? Because eventually they will catch up to you. Some might be lucky. And if you're not doing it the right way, you're going to be screwed. So always contact that agency and ask them how to do it the proper way or do a FOIA request on the information. Um, so yes, you can use your thumbprint on your declarations. I would highly suggest you getting a stamper with your family, your given name on there. I would put constitution or jurisdiction of the Constitution of the United States of America or your own nation, okay? Nation of Levitica, stamp. Jurisdiction of the Constitution of the United States, stamp. Foreign private jurisdiction, stamp. Non-state, non-federal, stamp. Whatever it is, you have to own it. Thumbprint is good, is good. Um, UCC 1-308, all rights reserved, private, natural pers person, whatever your shtick is, that's what you're going to do. And that's what you're going to put on your paperwork. Or if you're signing something, you want to ensure you're reserving your rights. UCC 1-308, all rights reserved. Once they see a foreign nation, foreign anything on there, they're going to know that this is a different jurisdiction. Now, if you're discharging with your given your excuse me your legal name then that's fine they have the information you can inform them to discharge it you can do the various methods we talked about in the other videos all right yeah I'm just... all right so where were we all right so uh jurisdiction now one of the things i understand is that you were they're operating and looking at you as being a trustee. You want to dispel that myth. I made a video called the 12 presumptions of law. Okay, or of court. Look it up, James. You love it. The 12 presumptions. If you've reached, and there's also a video called the age of the majority or Minnesota rule 220 with obviously your boy. Um. If you've done that and you are now claiming that you are the owner of said trust, once again, having your stamper and informing them that you have taken control over that trust because you, because a trust can be controlled by a trust. 
And so my nation would be considered a trust or its own private nation. Creating a private foreign trust on your own through one of the sources or rocket lawyer, if you will, dot com or creating your own. And then letting them know that I am in control of that trust. Now, a lot of people will also do that by means of the UCC1. Okay. So you're essentially controlling it by putting in a claim that you have so much um, equity or credit in that particular entity that unless they want to pay this out, you have it. So they work as they can they have a controlling interest they have a controlling percentage in it but they don't own it okay we're we're supposed to be the ones who own it but we're operating it as it's it's us and that we are a trustee of it okay some people will go ahead and uh go to the state and they'll register their own name as a business entity which is what it is but it's not already registered. So that's another way to control it. So when watching this video or any of my videos, remember guys, you do not have to do every single thing I'm talking about to be free. The moment you know what's going on, you are made free. But this is how you gain further understanding, further control. But once again, you are your own person. I take no responsibilities for what you do. I'm just your favorite non-belligerent, non-combatant treaty of the United States, private person, okay? Um, and also goes for other people's videos out there. You do not have to do every single thing that some of these gurus out here are telling you, okay? A lot of them are not completely unplugged either. Do not be fooled. A lot of them are doing it for the clicks. Some of them have misinformation. Some of them have not vetted their own stuff. Some of them have are doing it because this is just how they feel. Very few of them are showing you where the rubber meets the road. And this is what makes these things fact. Then they want to sell you, you know, expensive courses and whatever else. Um, which if it's good information, then there is no uh, price really to education. But look around first. You'll also find a ton of free information and files on blacksite32.com. You can find me also on Rumble. Um, we're also on Telegram. And for those people who watch, beware, there is a scammer out there pretending to be me. All right. I will never ask you for money through email. Never send me money through a chat service or or invest in Bitcoin and do this and do that. Everything I do will always be through BlackSite32.com, period. 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 Okay. So I just heard some lady sent this guy like two grand. Stop. Don't do that. I will never ask you for any of your private information. I get it. You guys want help, but geez, Louise, if you want to send it to me, you know, my, my paid stuff literally is on black site 32. That's it. If you're not getting your information from black site 32, I don't care if you're in telegram, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever else. And you think it's me. It probably ain't me. I'm very rarely active on any of those things and definitely not going to go back and forth and messengers and whatever else, okay? And I'm definitely not gonna ask you for no money or nothing else. Always go to BlackSide32. If you're ever not sure, BlackSide32.com. That name again, it's BlackSite, S-I-T-E, 32.com, all right? Should up, uh, it's, yeah. So don't do that, don't be silly, okay? Use your use your brains, guys. Don't, don't, uh, don't be so eager for knowledge that you're sending people money. So if that happens, go and report that as fraud to your um, institutions, your banks and whatever else, your credit card, whatever you use, okay? Because And don't hit me up. Is that really you after you sent the money to this other person? How come you didn't respond to me after I gave the money? From because it wasn't me. Okay, guys, don't do that. All right, so you've gotten started you now understand more than what you knew before you've got you should be getting your seal from like amazon i'll have an amazon link posted here where you can use it to shop through um and find your various uh products and things that you want to get it won't be a link directly to it but you can just use the link after the video if you want or just continue to uh watch some more videos other things will pop up at the end that you can use uh, recommended videos 
Um, also, once again, on Black Side 32, there's lots of offers and discounts and promotions and goodies that you can help yourself with in more ways than one. Okay. I'm going to have another link up there uh, for some government programs and um, stuff to get your EIN set up and whatever else. So, all those things, if they're not on there, they will be on there. And remember, you guys can also check out my backup channel, which is on YouTube under uh, the Bad Wolf uh, Media. Okay. Or, yeah, Bad Wolf Media Show. Um, okay. So, with that being said, what else can you do? Well, that's really it. You've got your stamper. You know about your thumb. You know how to sign properly. You know what your statuses are. You know why you are what you are because of how you were born. You know about the uppercase lettering. From there, it's only if you choose to. You can do the My e Verify. Okay, I made a video just on that one. You can do the Social Security SS5 process. Now, don't forget, you might run into some resistance because some people out there don't know. Ask to speak to a manager in the private. The manager comes out and say, I want to talk to you privately about this. I'm a private person. This is what I want to do. This is how. This is my faith. This is what I believe in. If they don't work with you, then send your stuff right into the headquarters and contact them there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can do the Mighty Verify, you can do the SS5. Um, you can send out your affidavits, you can do your passport. Um, that for the most part, and your you can do your UCC one. We talked about how to do that. Now, when you do your UCC ones, we no longer use the uh, we still use the all capitalized capitalist Demisha Maxima name for the debtor and the creditor. We use our given name. Okay. Um, so depending on how you feel, you can also create a private side. Now, remember, if you truly want to be private, you're going to have to start creating trust. You're going to have to create another entity um, to pass through from you to living person with either your given name or a different name. To inter interface as you see fit. So, but you don't have to do everybody's single process. I'm going to tell you guys right now, all right? A lot of these processes, the system don't really care about. Sorry to hurt your feelings. Tear gone, sad no more. They don't want you. They no longer want your revocations of election for the IRS process. Keep that paperwork for yourself to have proof if you ever need to go to court. They just want you to to learn how to do commerce the correct way, but they have no legal obligation to tell you how to do it. Kind of an oxymoron, right? So, with that process, it's knowing which forms to file with your HR. And if you are your own tax person, then having the correct file, your W-8BN, your W-4V, your 8233, your 1040NR, um, or whatever else you're using, signed and filled out and kept with your materials. And should they come and knock in, you then send them your paperwork. Okay? I now operate as this. So if you're ever not sure about a process, Ask somebody who looks knowledgeable, somebody who, you know, I'm watching some of these videos you guys are sending lots of money to. I mean, if you're just bored, go to blacksite32.com and donate some money. All right. But some of these people look like they just fell off the, the turn up boat. They look disheveled, all, all, all unsure of themselves, look like they just, you know. You know, you guys aren't using your discernment, you know. I mean, I'm not saying that a smart person has lots of books in the background or anything like that, you know, show that they actually read and have learned these things and have done these things. Um, but what I'm saying is, is don't just go, oh, this person knows more than me. Do your homework, do your research. When you find somebody good and knowledgeable, Okay, they're going to go into detail. They're going to show you which books they get it from. They're going to take you to the law library. They're going to tell you to vet their own information. They're going to tell you to call the agencies 
so you can learn how to do commerce the proper way. I'm just doing this to help prevent you guys from getting into trouble because not knowing how to sail your ship in the sea of commerce will get you banked. Okay. So that's really about it. So there's not, it's not a big seat. Well, I guess it kind of is a big secret. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the proper way to do commerce is to know who and what you are. And you can totally use your public side or your private side as you see fit every day, depending on how you want to do. I do. I use James C. Lovett, which is a taxable entity when I want to do those things. Otherwise, I've got my private trust or my uh, national entity that I utilize. That's it. More than that, you don't, I mean, like I said, the basics are just understanding and then, you know, making certain changes when and if you see fit. From that, yeah, you can do the other processes and you can authenticate the birth certificate. I've seen some people out there, don't authenticate the birth certificate. Well, you don't need to if you're norm if you're operating normally in commerce. You only do that. If you're doing the passport process or you, you want to you build a case against the municipality that you are no longer in their jurisdiction, because to authenticate means to bring it out of the Hague or federal jurisdiction, federalized state jurisdiction. If you're happy there, then cool. You can have one authenticated and one not. That's up to you. So don't listen to all these gurus who don't know what they're talking about. They feel some type of way. Feeling, I feel some type of way. So that makes it fact and law without showing anything. And they haven't called and done the research on what even any of those words mean. You're listening to people who've got, you know, a couple of videos who just want to make some money on YouTube. And I'm not mad at them. But what I don't like is that you guys are allowing them to take advantage of you guys because you guys don't know what's going on. I would prefer to walk three feet and not find a landmine than walk 32 feet and then find a, an explosive device or something. You know, you guys want to be free so bad, and that's great. But you know what happens when everybody rushes? Yeah, makes a mess. Everybody's trampling over each other. Money is lost. But hey, you know what? Maybe you guys need to lose your money out there, like I did, because that's how I got here. Yeah, I'm smart, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? Might be a scam, might not. You know what? I'm going to send the money in. Ah, oh, crap. But I learned. And that's how I got here. Now, I'm not saying you should go out there and get scammed. I'm just saying as somebody who's been there, I paid the price for all this information. You don't have to. All right? And yeah, I don't have every process out there. I don't know everything. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not going to say that I do. But the stuff you find here, I've done, and it works. Now, if you decide to go out there, and not vet the information or the person or whatever else, then, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you this. If the information is good and it's and it's valid and it's solid, a person should not be taxing you hundreds and hundreds of dollars for that information. Just saying, people out here, you, you know, you want to get a 98 number? You want to get this? $1,000. You want to? Uh, no, no, no. Everything that I'm showing you here and then all these other people, gurus and the like and whatever else are showing is all free on the internet. If you do the search for it, you take the time. So you're paying, no offense, maybe a little bit. You know what? Yeah, full offense. I'll say it because you're lazy. All right. But if you don't have time for it and you feel like, you know, I, I just don't know how to put it together properly. Okay. Then pay for it. But it should not be breaking the bank for you to get that knowledge. Just saying. So ooh, it's a bright light. I can see like the light now. Um, so that's and remember, it's your standing. A real woman or man stands. They stand on the land. Everything that these people are doing is maritime or on the water. You're considered to be dead bodies floating in the water. So we overstand them. No, I do not understand your law. I do not understand your command. Because I'm not your officer. I'm not your property. 
But remember, if you're if you are in your motor vehicle and you do have their plates on and your vehicle is still registered, you still have their license, then you are op then you are their officer. You've agreed to be their trustee. You've registered, which means to abandon your stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just understand where you are and move accordingly. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing at all wrong with, with being in there. Actually, there's lots of benefits and privileges. So if you want those, then you get those. If you're saying you're, you are your own king or queen, then you should be doing everything your own, on your own self. So that's it, guys. That is how you get started. All right, that's it. No magic. Now that you know, you're made free. From there, if you want to venture down other avenues, then sure, go ahead. But at the end of the day, it's knowing who you are, updating some of the databases, putting out some affidavits, changing the name to a private name, whatever you want it to be, and operating that side and doing business in the private. That's it. You can do business in the public or business in the private. Those are your sides. Private stuff should have a private name. Public stuff ha already has a public name. That's it. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe. We're almost at 45,000. The, the big goal is 50. So I need 20 more people today to sign to hit that uh, subscribe uh, so we can make it happen. And I appreciate you and thank you in advance. If you see anybody using any of my materials inappropriately or using the S word, hit them for slander, bullying, and defamation of character and report them. All right. And remember, once again, do not, if you are, I, I will never just approach somebody with an offer to buy this, that, sell, give me your information ever. Don't, don't do that. All right. Everything is black site. So B-L-A-C-K-S-I-T-E-3-2 dot com dot com. Talk to you guys later.